Hello students, myself Vinay Singh and today I am going to start a new subject that is Network Analysis and Synthesis. Okay. This subject is very important for engineering students because this is the basic subject for all other subjects like analog circuit analysis and uh, that uh, EMFT also and uh, for complex circuit analysis, circuit design for all the things. This is a basic, basic course that you have to understand properly to understand the higher level subjects or higher level problems. Okay, so today I will start uh, from lecture one in which I will explain you the basics of network analysis. Okay, so the network is looking like you are watching on a screen. This is a network I have drawn here. There are some components that I will explain you. What are these components? Okay, you can see here. You can see here. This is a component, and this is known as voltage source. You must have uh, read it, used it earlier also. Okay, and it is represented by plus and minus sign. The positive terminal is plus, and negative terminal is given here in the negative side okay so current flows out of the positive terminal now the another component you can see here this is a current source okay current source is represented by an arrow inside a circle okay and it is this arrow is showing the direction of current okay it means current is flowing upward in the case of dc circuit okay so we can see here that voltage source and current source. These two components are there and what these components do, these components supply energy to the electrical circuit. Okay, so that is why these kind of components are known as active components because they supply energy to the electrical circuit. Now, let's understand and see what other components are there you can see here this is resistance many times you have seen it okay this inductor many times you have seen it this is known as inductor represented by capital L and the unit SI unit is Henry and the SI unit of uh, resistance is register is ohm okay now capacitor the capacitors SI unit is farad that also you must have seen you can see here okay now again another resistors. So this electrical circuit is made up of these components. So you can see here that resistor, capacitor and inductor. Okay. And these are known as passive components because they do not supply energy. They consume energy or store energy like resistor. Resistor consume energy. Okay. And spread it into the form of like heat and sound. In, other other useful uh, other useful or unuseful form it depends on our application okay in capacitor in a pure capacitor the energy is not consumed it is stored okay the same happens in the inductor got it so resistor capacitor and inductor so in these are what passive components these are known as passive components because they, they either consume or store energy okay they do not supply energy Got it. So you have a, you have a brief idea of over uh, what are the components and the ca category and all. Okay. Now let's understand some other points, important terms like simple load, principal load, and mesh in the circuit. Each component is known as a branch. What? Each component. Hare component. So you can see here R one. This resistance is there. Okay. This is a branch. This inductor is connected. This is a branch. So two branches are connected at this joint. At this point. You can see here. Okay. This is also connecting two components. This is also connecting. This is connecting three components. This is connecting again three components. Got it? So these kind of points you are seeing here. This is also a junction point okay so what we can say that in this circuit there are some junction points okay 
some junction points are having two components connecting some junction points are having more than two or three or more than three components connecting okay so we have divided we, we call those points as nodes what we say nodes and there are two kind of nodes one is simple node and another is principal node okay so what we uh, call this kind of node where only two uh, two branches are connected these kind of nodes are known as these kind of junctions are known as simple nodes okay so simple nodes are what simple nodes are what only two branches one branch means one component two branches are connected okay in short i am writing it okay only two branches are connected only two branches got it now principal node principal node three or more than three more than three branches are connected okay when we talk about mesh or loop closed loop okay and what is mesh and what is closed loop and uh, let me uh, let me give some more information about nodes like uh, uh, when we will study it further then uh, whenever i will use the term node it will mean a principal node what it will mean a principal node okay so principal node is what where three or more than three nodes are connected suppose i am naming it here this is node a this is node b this is node c this is node e and this is node f okay this is node f so can you tell me what is that node a here only here only two branches are connected means this is what simple node simple node got it here this is also a simple node okay here this is principal node what is that principal node got it and this is also a principal node why these are principal nodes look 1 2 3 three components are connected or three branches are connected here we look also you can see one current source and the resistance r1 the resistance r3 three components are connecting to this node okay to this uh, junction so that is why it is known as principal node okay here this is also a principal node principal node okay so now so these are some terms we will utilize later for circuit analysis now mesh or closed loop what is this mesh here you can see here a closed loop when i have i have told you that it is a closed loop closed loop means you can see here one path that is closed you are starting from here okay we will go like this will move through the whole mesh so this is one loop okay loop one i'm i'm uh, making it with a, some different color like green okay this is loop one loop one okay you can see here this is also one loop am i right i'm naming them also loop two this is also a loop look this is also a closed loop it is completing a closed path look here is a completing the closed path okay i am just writing number here only because space is not available and one more thing i want to tell you that it is not necessary that we are having only this these three closed loop we can also have one closed loop like look from this path i am going and i am returning by this path this is also a loop this red color 
whole loop from voltage source we have start we have started moving then r1 l then c capacitor r3 then again r4 and then again return to the and this is also a closed loop okay again again i will tell you this we have started here and this is again orange color part okay this is again coming to after uh, moving the whole circuit okay this is also a closed loop or mesh got it so there are many possibilities of loop and mesh just to have to ensure that the uh, the loop or the path must be closed means from where if you are able to go from a path and can return to the to the same point okay return to the same point if there is any break then you cannot return it return from there so that will not be a loop okay you can say that closed loop is what where you have started from one point and after completing the whole path you are returning to the same point okay this is known as loop and there are many possibilities i have shown you five loops here there are many more loops got it so you can you can uh, do your practice and you can uh, put it here that how many loops can be possible here got it so this way we can define a mesh or a closed loop so we can say that closed loop closed loop is what mesh or closed loop are closed paths possible in a circuit i'm not giving very standard definitions but i am giving the definition which you can understand in your simple language okay so understand it what is that closed loop closed path okay closed path in the circuit so in this way you can do a uh, practice for many questions like i'm giving you one example and please practice and answer in your in the comments that uh, how much number of mesh or closed loops are there okay so here i have mentioned one question in which a simple electrical network is given and you have to find out principal nodes and mesh okay possible in this electrical circuit and put the answer in the comment box so uh, i will close this lecture here and in the next lecture i will uh, explain what are active components and what are their types so thank you very much